An ancient gold coin, once thought to be fake, has now been authenticated, revealing the existence of a third century Roman commander. Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. A Roman coin that has baffled historians. Thought to have been a fake for hundreds of years. A close look shows pit marks. These and its crude design led to the experts thinking it was made by forgers in the 18th century. Oh, that's really nice, around there. Can we get a higher resolution image of that? But scientist Paul Pearson thought they were wrong. So he began a forensic investigation. Silicon, oxygen, iron. Under a high power microscope, he found scratches, which could only have been produced by rubbing together with other coins in purses. And a chemical analysis showed not, that it had been not, buried under the soil for hundreds of years. All clues that indicate that it was yeah. genuine. Yeah, look at that. I think what we've found is an emperor, an important historical figure in his own time, thought to have been a fake, been written off by all the experts and the historians. We found that he was real and that he had a role in history. The coin is one of just four at Glasgow University's Hunterian Museum. These three are of known Roman emperors, but this one has been a real mystery. It has a picture of someone that the experts thought never existed at all. The coins were originally discovered in 1713 yes. uh, in Transylvania. It was a, a small hoard of Roman gold and it was transported to the Imperial Coin Collection in Vienna. The detective story to discover who the mystery man was continued with Jesper Eriksson. Well, they came here by quite an extraordinary route, really. They've been uh, laying in wooden cabinets near forgotten for almost 200 years. His research suggested that the face on the coin belonged to a real-life military leader called Sponsian, who ruled a province of the empire that is now Transylvania, where only ruins remain of the Roman occupation. The reason our uh, research on these coins is so important is that we feel we've now proved that they are real coins and can therefore say that Sponsian could be a real person and that he is legitimately therefore a lost Roman emperor. The researchers now want to find more evidence of Sponsian to see what more can be learnt about the lost Roman emperor. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Glasgow.